So I understand exactly what you're going through. You just moved to Israel. You're from the United States of America. I'm not sure if you're a new Olim or you moved for love like I did. But um, Israel's a different place to live and that's for certain. Three pieces of advice if you have just moved to Israel from America. So the first tip that I have for you is to get yourself a pair of earphones, earbuds. And why would you need earphones? Because Israel is a loud place, I'll tell you. People uh, definitely are yelling around the city. People can uh, sometimes be causing havoc. The streets are loud, especially if you're in Tel Aviv. Um, and so it's nice to be able to listen to your own music and get into your own world and create a sense of familiarity for yourself by listening to some of your favorite music and your favorite tunes. Tip number two, if you have just moved to Israel from America, get your guard up. In Israel, you definitely want to keep your guard up because the philosophy in Israel is different than America. Or at least it's outspoken in a different way where there's the idea in Israel of being a friar. And it's a saying, don't be a friar. Meaning, don't be a sucker. Because if you are acting like a sucker, and if you are a sucker, if you're gullible, if you can be duped, then everybody here is going to try to dupe you. And it's going to be your fault. They're going to tell you you're a friar. And they got over on you because you were acting like a friar. So stay sharp. Don't be gullible. Make sure that you uh, are not necessarily suspicious. Don't be suspicious. But uh, be thoughtful in taking upon actions that are uh, offers of other people here. Meaning if somebody offers you something... You can be a bit skeptical. You can you can go ahead and ask another question or two to get to the details, to get to the bottom of it. Make sure that you're double checking everything. Make sure that you're um, keeping your eyes and your ears open and, and stay sharp. Don't be a friar. Don't be a sucker. Tip number three from a person who has lived in Israel for 10 years. Take the stick out of your tush. Meaning, in Israel, things are not formal. Things are very familial. Meaning, everybody treats each other like brothers and sisters here. Both in the good ways and in the bad ways. The levels of professionalism here are certainly borderline non-existent. So, you just have to be straightforward and you can be blunt here. You can be open and you can be honest and you can tell the truth. Be yourself and take the stick out of your tush. My name's Claude Massey. I'm a sales coach, a life coach, and a career consultant here in Israel. And um, please feel free to subscribe down below for certain for more videos. Check out the channel. There's a lot of different topics on the channel. And if you're looking for a job in Israel,